Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review the new documentary, Karen Carpenter, Starving for Perfection, from director Randy Martin, and this focuses on the life and legacy of Karen Carpenter, of the Carpenters Band, who died way too young at 32 years old from complications of anorexia, and... You know, this documentary plays out like most documentaries of the sort, where it's just like that opening couple of minutes where it's a ton of commentators all throwing like one-liners, those pull quotes everywhere popping out, and we get a very broad stroke idea of who Karen Carpenter is, and then we get into it, which I don't know how deep this documentary really goes with a lot of aspects of her life. It does take a while for it to really start focusing on, like, maybe some things could have been done differently and this didn't have to end up this way that it did for this woman who's extremely talented, and this documentary does a really good job of capturing the talent, capturing the cultural impact that Karen Carpenter has on society or had, and this is the kind of film where it's just like, you're going to learn a lot about this person, you're also going to get moments that feel skated over, and, you know, Carpenter makes for a very interesting and engaging presence, but on some level, it's not always going to be there, and this film really captures the unfortunateness of what's, what led to that, and the complications, the addictions, the everything that's involved here, telling the story, and in the end, I think you get a lot of heart and soul here, especially into the third act of this documentary. It's really starting to question and challenge the audience on a lot of things, and I'm like, okay, I could get behind this. I appreciate that. I could see where this is coming from, and I think that really works. And in many ways, this documentary starts off very stereotypical, in style, in perspective, but helps us grow throughout to by the end of it, we're asking a lot of questions and engaging in a respectful way as well. And I think this documentary is rock solid, has some quality to it, even if it feels a little old-fashioned, feels a little by the numbers. There's so much to enjoy here in the works that the Carpenters created, what Karen Carpenter did. And we still have that that we could appreciate her moving into the future. But this is a good documentary, worth your time. And you might learn a thing or two about one of the most important voices of the 1970s. But those are my thoughts on Karen Carpenter, Starving for Perfection. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.